Cycle 2019's blog, Unboxing Fashion's Future, which I believe will be Fashion's Future. The way the fashion revolution is gaining momentum is really exciting and we're really excited to launch Phase 2 uh, over the next month or two, and hopefully by the end of May, if not the beginning of June, um, so we'll be updating you on that. Um, but back to this unboxing special, which is all to do with packaging, which has been our main focus this month. I've done my very best with what's available out there to bring you some planet-friendly packaging. It's not the most riveting subject, um, but I've devoted the whole month of April to researching um, packaging elements that I can use when I send out orders for my thrift VIP customers. Um, it's, it's an important subject and I hope it helps you to re rethink uh, a few things about packaging and how much it can contribute to the destruction of the planet. So it's, it's a really important aspect for us and an important element that we want to get right. Um, I've done a lot of research and I'm going to talk you through the elements of the packaging before I do the unboxing and unpacking of the two items. Very important packaging, the focus of our April vlog. So talking about the elements, um, the first element that I researched was the compostable mailers and I sent off for no issues sample pack and this is what came back to me. Um, I wanted to see if there was anywhere to write on, there's not, um, so they put a sticker on which is not ideal, I, I kind of want to avoid that which I'll talk about later. Um, and so in the end after researching another place where I got the tape from um, who also do compostable mailer bags, um, I found that chimp packaging do this one which is a nice light colour so I can write on it in um, marker pen and it's also got a double seal which makes it really easy for my customers to return things in the same bag and um, then I, I can break it down if it comes back to me. Not that I'm expecting too many returns, I hope not, um, but yeah these are great and um, they're waterproof and they're fully compostable and you can either compost that in a home or industrial compost. Um, and it will break down within six months uh, maximum or 90 days in a commercial compost. So you can put that in your backyard compost, which is great. I know not everybody has compost. I don't. I live in a flat, so um, it's something that I might try on my balcony. So lucky I have a balcony, but um, not everybody has one. But I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging it. If you've got a garden or backyard, try it out. Why not? Also, the final decision that was made um, was due to, um, this came all the way from New Zealand, um, and Chimp Packaging actually manufactured these in their, their um, own manufacturing house in Liverpool, so um, it's a no-brainer for me. Um, if I can keep it in within the UK and avoid the transport cost, then it's a bonus. Chimp Packaging have only been doing these apparently for three months because they sell loads of other packaging um, uh, materials um, and I've, I've noticed they don't do, um, I don't think their tissue paper is acid free so I had to order that from the same place that I got the tape and also I'd like to have some soya based ink stickers, not that soya is completely eco friendly but I think it's better uh, than a normal um, ink, it's like my printer, when I bought my printer recently I wanted to try and get soya based inks but I think I have to go online for that. Um, and so it would be great when one day I can buy everything from the same place because it's all working towards the same end goal of being plant more planet friendly overall. So at the moment I'm have to, having to order from lots of different places which is it's not great um, and it's, it costs more to do that. Um, but for now it has to be, I have to just do the minimum what, what I can do. Um, and I mean no issue, have some really lovely samples. Um, printed t tissue paper but again because it's coming from New Zealand I don't really think it's a good idea when I can source it here in the UK um, so the tissue paper that I sourced was from um, Kite Packaging which was the same place as I got these tapes from which I'm going to tell you about in a minute so just a few more things on the composting mailer bags compostable mailer bags um, so they're designed for home compost as well as industrial compost or commercial compost and they're 100 percent plant-based fully waterproof the company is based and manufactures in liverpool because they're, they're a manufacturing house um, only been doing them for three months and um, they're hoping that they'll br branch out into soy based inks which i've asked them about um, so if they do do that, that I can get more of my materials from them. <laughs> oh, it's so fascinating, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's the compostable mailers. 
It's a whole new world. I'm learning so much. I've learned so much um, this month about recycling and, and materials and um, getting confused about it all as well. It's, it's like opening a can of worms um, because it, it's, it's really difficult to get something that's purely planet friendly. Anyway, um, I googled uh, soya inks and it does make it easier to recycle when soya inks are used. Um, Obviously they're made from soybeans which are a 100% renewable source but the, the, the process of, of growing soya can be damaging to the planet as well. Um, it uses the same process as a petroleum based ink which is obviously it has other chemicals in it um, that need to bind um, to make the ink. Um, so even though soybean oil is an edible vegetable oil, soya ink is not edible or 100% biodegradable because the pigments and other additives mixed with it are those used in petroleum based inks. So um, I did look at ethical printer rankings and I, instead I decided to go with a small Canon printer because um, it, I've got a very small flat here and everything is here and it's all kind of closing in on me slowly so the size was important and also I'm, I'm hoping that I can buy some soya based ink cartridges to go in there um, it's, a t it's a kind of temporary measure at the moment and just to start me off and I'm just going to keep printing things out to a, an absolute minimum um, so yeah and avoid using too many stickers so that is about the soya based ink a little bit of info on that also, um, this is the ready, um, ready pack mailer bag with a item in it, fifth item. I'm also going to look for some, some perhaps soy based ink marker pens. I don't know if they're available, but that's another thing I'm on the lookout for. It never ends, it never stops, all this in, in these endeavours to be planet friendly. So I'm going to talk about the tape next. So I bought, first of all I bought this tape from Kite Packaging, which is where I got my acid-free tissue paper from. Um, and apparently it is, it's their craft hair tape that's 100% recyclable. Um, I felt it was a bit waxy, um, so I wasn't sure how well it would break down. And then I was able to compare it to some tape I bought from the Zero Waste Shop in Nottingham. And Sarah informed me, but informs me that it's 100% um, um, biodegradable, compostable and recyclable and it actually feels, it's got a slightly rougher texture and it feels like it will break down better than this one and I have found out that kite, um, kite manufacturing happens in China and um, they weren't going to disclose where they manufactured with me to start with so it took a couple of emails but um, yeah I don't really I don't, I don't think it's necessary and I'm hoping that more manufacturers um, set up in the, in the UK to do this type of eco packaging. So I'm hoping that Packaging Chimp will do more of the products that I want and need so I can buy from the same place. Um, just to recap that the wa slightly waxy shinier tape that I use is 100% recyclable so that can be recycled as a paper product and this one um, that I bought from Zero Waste Shop apparently is compostable as well and it's also recyclable so if it comes on a cardboard product which this is, this is what the tape is for for me to use on um, cardboard boxes and as a sealant um, then you can th put either in the paper paper recycling bin if that's the easiest option for you okay so I'm uh, ready to go out now I think I might wear these today so that's the craft tape covered so now on to tissue paper, <laughs> so exciting. Right, so this is the um, this is the acid free tissue paper, um, which is the white version. I bought this, I bought tissue paper again, I still have got tissue paper from, that I ordered from More Plan a while ago, and I've got white and I've also got this pink left. So some orders may come in the pink, so if it's pink you know. I, don't, I need to check if that's acid free, I don't think it is, but the white, the white paper that I send will definitely be acid free. So I encourage you to reuse this, it's really good for preserving fabrics. So if you like to store your seasonal, um, off seasonal items away in the wardrobe um, and, and like to carefully fold them, then you can use this, it's really good to help preserve uh, the fabrics, especially vintage fabrics, it's quite important. So that's the tissue paper. So I'm still using, I still might be using this that I got from More Plan. Um, I think, I'm not sure if it's acid free, I'll have to check. 
Um, but this this definitely is acid free. So if you get the wipes, that'll be acid free that you can reuse again. And um, your order may also come with a vinyl sticker somewhere, which I had made up a year or two ago. Um, I like the smell of, smell of these, but they're not <laughs> not ideal for the environment because they're vinyl. Um, they're really good quality, and I've used them on goodie bags before. And they may also, I may stick one of them on a cardboard box, but I'm not really sure whether to do that. Um, I might just save them for, I don't know, special, special occasions, special pieces. An example of the box, I wanted to use the rubber stamp that I've had made. So that's another thing that I've had made. Um, a rubber stamp, this is from the English Stamp Company, so it's based in the UK, and I, I bought it because I wanted to make my swing tags more recyclable, so before I was um, printing them out onto like an acetate, uh, which is, obviously you can't recycle that, um, so I thought to solve that problem I use a rubber stamp, it's not quite as clear, but you get the idea, the logo's on there, and I will most likely stick the information which is either the Heiku poem if you're lucky get one of those and um, the place provenance and material style of the piece that you order will all be on the back so that'll just be on a, a, a piece of paper on the back there that's stuck onto the back so most likely print stick and then you can recycle that um, so that's that dealt with I may also sometimes use these little metal tags. A lot of these types of things are from other items that I've bought myself in the past that I've saved, so I reuse them. And I, I did buy these for the t-shirts that I had made up a few years ago that will be on the site. So you may get one of those or one of those or maybe some <coughs> trim ribbon, which I sometimes use. So yeah, that's the swing tags and yeah, the stamp, I have tried the stamp on the box but it doesn't seem to work too well on ridged items, um, only on flat surfaces so I've tried it on the compostable mailing bags too, it's not bad um, but I think I need to get some Sawyer ink print stickers made up um, instead of the vinyl ones. So it may be that I have to make up some of my own stickers using my own printer just to keep the cost down until I find some soy based ink um, suppliers in the UK that can do my stickers for me. So I may actually use some. Um, if I have to do address labels, I may have to use a few, um, but hopefully they'll be easily um, taken off. I did look at something that I'd received from another company and they have the quite big stickers. So I'm trying to reduce everything in size really and um, reduce the printing. You may also notice that in some of the orders I may add a, put it in a bag, that's quite a long one, um, I put, put it in some plastic, but this is plastic that I've received myself in orders, um, especially electrical items that you order, there's a lot of packaging in there and I will save a lot of it to reuse again. So if you find that I've used something like this or something like this, cellophane wrapper it means that I'm reusing it doesn't mean that I'm adding to the problem it means I'm reusing what I've already received from other companies and that goes for um, pa pa packaging such as little pellets that you get actually I'll show you one moment so packaging such as this there's a name for these I can't remember what they're called but I recently received these in an order, in an order um, and they're like polystyrene pellets. So I've got bags of these types of things in my flat. I've just like stored away so I can reuse them for my own business. So I spend quite a lot of money on these things. And um, it's crazy that we don't save them and use them ourselves, but I suppose you have to have the space and I'm running out of space, which is why I need to open the shop soon. So yeah, it could be something like that that you'll receive from me. So if you do, don't be disheartened. I'm just reusing what I've received myself rather than throwing it away. Also, you may find in some of the orders, perhaps shoes or, or handbags, that I may use a silica gel package. These are not to be thrown away. I started saving these about a year ago and I've got a few saved up that I use for to help store um, my items and pieces 
because this stops moisture getting into things so the silica gel is a really good thing to keep if you receive this keep it in your own wardrobe because it will help to deter any moisture um, so yeah this, this can be quite damaging I think for the environment it says do not throw away so um, I'm asking people to save these for me so I can send them with some of my orders and use them for, for storing away so that is they are all the elements for the packaging I think we've covered everything and um, the other thing that I'm going to talk about is actually in the package itself so let's get on with that and do the unboxing now okay so I'm going to talk you through what to expect from Thrift VIP when you receive your special item so it may come in a compostable mailer like this very important person or it may come in a cardboard box like this bigger smaller whatever depending on the item and remember I'm only selling to the UK to start with and um, so I'm keeping it small keeping it simple and so there's less people and more choice for you more goodies for you less people after all these goodies <laughs> so um yeah so it'll either come like this or like this so I'm going to demonstrate um, the mailer first so you've received your mailer it's all very exciting Remember it's waterproof, this material, turn it over, you'll see some information um, about the bag, um, about whether it's about to use it again, and that it's got an extra glue line, and that it's compostable, and to avoid, obviously take care, to avoid suffocation, um, and there's a reminder at the top here, um, please reuse this bag, um, so it reminds you how to open it, but I need to demonstrate it, I have tried it once already, I got it wrong, but this is how to do it. So there's a perforation here, and all you need to do is undo it by opening it. Up. So it's really, really easy. And then you've got your other glue line is there ready to return it when you're ready. So it just makes it so much easier. Pull your item out. And we've got the acid free tissue paper and we've also got <coughs> the point of sale packaging which we'll go through in a minute um, and this one is a very lovely silky blazer and there your item is received and there we go that's the first one And now to unbox this one. So this is this is just a demonstration of the packaging, um, just for packaging purposes. I, I do package them a bit more beautifully than this, but I just want to demonstrate. Um, it really was for the mailer, um, but the packaging still fits in these small um, boxes. And so this is, for instance, if you get a pair of sunglasses, I won't put it in a massive box. I'll put it in a box that's um, suitable for the size of the item uh, and it's well packaged as you can see with the bubble wrap uh, which is a reused bubble wrap and also tissue paper in the box there and again you'll see this security tag which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Okay so there are your beautiful Gucci glasses. And then you can also this tape is very easily removable, so this is the compostable type. I might just put a little note which tape I've used, if I remember. If in doubt, pop it in the paper recycling. So I don't think you could see that very clearly when I unboxed it, that it went out of shot. Um, and so this is, these are the Gucci glasses. So these came out of the box. So it's a nice size um, box for the size of the item. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the security tags that are on and the point of sale that will come with your order next. Hi I'm back. So just a quick note um, on the placement of the security tags. As you can see I've put it in a place where it doesn't get in the way of trying things on and, and so you can get full enjoyment from your garment and try it on. Same with the sunglasses. I've put it on the side so you can try it on properly to encourage more considered shopping. So you can see that remove me and I'm yours forever <laughs> or join the circular fashion revolution and pass it on or recycle, repair, whatever to continue its life cycle. 
So yeah, these are on fast fashion, this is not. This is slow fashion, it's all about making more considered purchases and to avoid, I want to avoid returns, too many returns. Obviously I know I'll get some, um, but this is the reason for the tag, so it makes it fair on everybody else and as a lot of the pieces are one-offs as well, so this is a very important aspect. On some of the pieces they'll be tagged with this thread which has a little plastic bit on it um, and for some items that don't like, I'm not able to put use these tags on I have to use the plastic one which I don't like but they're with the gun that goes through the fabric but I really try and avoid going through fabrics such as this that's silky because it can make holes in the fabric which I found shopping on the high street that happens a lot and it's such a shame so it's about valuing the clothes and looking after them so that's all about the security tag and the reason why it's on there try the beautiful piece on properly without the security tag getting in the way um, so I'm very thoughtful like that it's definitely a consideration of mine same with the sunglasses and glasses and things like that um, I try and put them in a place that is not going to get in the way um, I've put these on the side but I don't think that's going to work it's very tricky with the things like the glasses um, so you, I don't like it when they put them down the middle and you can't um, see how the glasses look properly um, it may be a bit trickier with this one because that can just be removed so um, I'm going to have to rethink how I do the sunglasses I think they probably will have to go in the middle because I've just noticed that you can actually remove it like that so that's no good so they're going to have to go in the middle I'm afraid I have tried not to do that um, but there is a reason for that so please please don't get too annoyed and uh, there you go, I'll cons be as considered as I can. It's just what I have to do to look after these beautiful pieces and to keep them in tip-top condition so you can enjoy them as well. So um, please be aware of that. I've done everything I can to be considered in my approach to this. So finally, if you're still with me on this, or if you've come to look at this vlog, um, since you've purchased something or you've received something and you've read the returns label um, then welcome I hope it's provided all the information that you need um, so lastly this is the only point of sale packaging that I said that packaging that I send with the orders so I'm trying to keep this to a minimum the returns card explains the return um, procedure and on the back you'll see the return address which means that then you can easily <coughs> stick it to the parcel or the compostable mailer and um, please use sellotape I've I've purposely not used the, the stickers that you peel off on a return slip because they're harder to remove from the compostable mailers and from the cardboard and they're not re really recyclable I don't think the sticker ones so um, use sellotape around the edges and in winter add an extra strip across the middle just in case of um, weather inclement weather so yeah, just, just make it nice and secure and then I can easily remove that when it's returned to me and recycle or reuse the cardboard um, boxes. So that is all about the return slip. So finally on to the nice little envelope that you'll receive. It won't always be the same silver envelope because I often buy these in the sale, like end of, end of sale, um, really nice little keepsake things and I've included a postcard um, why not surprise a friend get out and fresher go right to a friend and use a snail mail as a quite a novelty so I just thought it was a nice thing to do so it's a postcard there and a, there'll be a little note from me as well in there so um, yes I am looking to source recycled card and paper to start with um, but for now I'm, I'm using what I've got already in my supply cupboard um, but I would like to start with recycled card and use that so um, all, the, all the paper can be recycled anyway it would just be nice to start with recycled um, products um, but that is a wrap I think that's everything um, if there's anything else any other questions please feel free to email me or messenger via the site or social media and I'll do my very best to answer your questions. 
Also on Instagram you'll see there's a highlight in one of my story highlights with the closed loop recycling logo on it and that has a lot of bits and pieces about the research that I've done about packaging and recycling and recyclable products so have a look there if you're interested to know more. Um, yeah it's been great thanks for listening and I hope that this has been helpful and informative and answered as many questions as you wanted answering for now. I'm always working on it, always working on new solutions. So packaging may change slightly um, over the, the, time, the course of time and I'm only striving to make it better and better and more planet friendly. So thanks for listening and um, yeah, look forward to thrifting for you soon. Bye. Thank you.